Good morning. My name is Nicole Angeline and I'm here in Sarasota, Florida on Sunday morning. I'm making breakfast for myself and my husband. Sunday's usually the day we have off together, so we always try to eat a big breakfast together in the morning. So today I am making my pull-apart biscuit. Um, this is a recipe my friend Chantel told me about, um, and I've kind of created a new twist to it with Philadelphia cream cheese. So all you do is use, I'm using grands today, you can use basic size biscuits if you wanted smaller pieces, but grands and you always want to get the flaky layers, so they'll pull apart once you bake them. So there's about um, eight biscuits in here, so all I've done is I've cut them in half. Um, if you wanted, you could cut them one more time to have little bite-sized pieces, but I like this size since it's for the two of us. And then you um, are going to grease a round um, baking pan and preheat the oven according to the package instructions on your biscuits. It's usually about 350, so I've preheated my oven. So now I just have a large um, freezer bag and I'm going to put all my biscuits in the freezer bag. And today I've decided for my pull apart, I kind of do something different every time. Um, the original recipe was for cranberries and orange zest and um, almonds. So this time I've kind of created, I have some pecans, chopped pecans. I've done about a half a cup. So I'm going to mix those, just dump them right in. Um, instead of regular sugar that the first recipe called for, I'm doing brown sugar this time. I love brown sugar. So this is about a cup of tightly packed brown sugar. Then I'm doing apples. Apples and brown sugar and pecans. It sounds like a dessert. Um, this is about one cup. Of, now these are freeze-dried apples. You see how thin they are? Um, this is the brand that I usually use. They're where they sell the dried cranberries in the store, but these are awesome, and they're great for baking. Um, there's about, I think, two cups in a package, but I'm using one cup today. They're still really, really moist, but they're going to lay down flat when we bake them. So about a cup of those apples. Okay. Now we're going to seal the bag and mix it all up. So we coat those biscuits really well. All right. So now, it's the messy part. Now we just want to pull out all the biscuit halves. You don't have to place them in here any certain way. Just place them in the pan. I've made this recipe so many times. I've done it for Christmas brunch. Um, I've done it for baby showers and parties. Everyone loves it. So it doesn't really have to be a breakfast item. Um, it can be, you know, if you wanted, like an appetizer or, um, or just a snack or dessert even. So this is the first time I've experimented with the cream cheese and the apples, and it just, it sounds so awesome. And I know my husband's going to like it, because he likes anything sweet. Okay, so now I've fit it all in the pan, and obviously we have a lot left over of the topping. So we're just going to sprinkle that on top. I'm not going to waste any of that goodness. Look at that, it's not even baked yet, and it looks awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to spread that around a little bit. Okay, and now we're going to top it with the cream cheese. So this is about half a box of cream cheese, four ounces. And I've just cut it into small pieces, and it's softened. I've let it sit out for a little bit. I'm just going to top this with the bite-sized pieces of cream cheese. Just kind of spread out. When it goes in the oven, this will melt, and when we pull it out, you can spread it around so it'll be kind of a nice, cheesy, creamy layer on top. Alright, so we're just going to put this in the oven according to 
the biscuit package instructions. So it says 14 to 17 minutes. So I'll put it in for about 15 minutes and check on it when it's golden brown on top and the cheese is nice and melted. Then we should take it out. And then you just slide it onto a plate or you can leave it in the pan and pull apart. And it's delicious. Okay, so I've just pulled my delicious apple cream cheese pull apart bread out of the oven. Now the last step is going to be to pour about two to three tablespoons of melted butter on top. Um, this is actually a step that you can do before you put it in the oven and it kind of helps brown up the biscuits and get the brown sugar all mixed together. However, it being first thing in the morning, I forgot. So I added it right at the end and I just popped it back in the oven for about three more minutes. So as you can see, it's nice and golden brown on top now and that's how we want it to be. And we have the cream cheese and you can leave it the way it is because this is going to be a pull apart bread so just about every piece should have cream cheese on it or you can kind of spread it around like this. It's nice and hot and melty so it spreads really easily. Okay, so here's my breakfast in bed apple cream cheese pull apart. Now that one container made plenty so as you can see this will definitely feed a crowd but it's best to serve when it's nice and warm um, and still very, very moist. So I usually pop it in the oven right when people come over from serving this for a party or a get together so that I can pull it out and everybody can eat it when it's still really hot. So you can see how delicious the cream cheese looks now that I spread it around. We have the brown sugar pecans in here with the melted butter on top. It's going to be delicious.